All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there for all my LeBron James fans out there, for all my Los Angeles Lakers fans out there? Maybe you're concerned, maybe you're not. I can. I got an update for you guys, though. LeBron James will miss the next three games for the Los Angeles Lakers, okay? He'll be re-evaluated next Thursday. The Lakers have a big-time matchup with the OKC Thunder as the Lakers are trying to stay in playoff contention LeBron is back practicing. He's he's back full court and everything like that, but he's not 100%. And the Lakers are proceeding with caution. As a matter of fact, they let it be known that LeBron will not touch a basketball court until he's 100%. It is just too risky for them to bring him back at 85%. He mess around and get injured to the likes we've never seen him. He goes down and their season is completely over. They're not going to allow it to happen. Remember a couple years ago, y'all remember when Kobe went down with that Achilles injury as the, the Lakers were just getting hot? That was like four, five, six years ago. And, and the Lakers were just starting to get it together. They had somehow backed their way into the playoffs. I believe Dwight Howard was on that team. And then Kobe got injured right before the end of the regular season. And the season was a wash. The Lakers are not going to let that happen again. They're going to make sure LeBron is 100% healthy. As a matter of fact, their next three games, they got to go against Utah. Then they got the Bulls and Cavs at home, all right? I'm sure it doesn't hurt that the Lakers looked at their schedule and they Utah's been struggling this year. Chicago is bad and the Cavs are bad. LeBron left and they're awful, all right? I'm sure that doesn't hurt. So I'm sure LeBron's looking at their schedule. He's thinking, okay, maybe if I can get back by next Thursday TNT matchup against the Thunder, that'll be a good time. We can pick up a game on a team that's a top, one of the top three, top four in the Western Conference, right? And I'm sure it didn't hurt that Kyle Kuzma went for 41 the other night. Kyle Kuzma went for a career high 41 as the Lakers got a big time dub. That's a big deal. All right, that is a big deal. They were playing the Detroit Pistons. That's a big deal that they, these young guys were able to go out and get a win. I know it wasn't against the best of teams, but you can go out and win in this league missing your starting three and your starting point guard. And Rajon Rondo was also out with injury. It's a big deal for these young guys and their confidence going forward. So... LeBron's going to take this one slow. I wouldn't be surprised if he missed next week's game against the Thunder. But I believe he'll be back by Martin Luther King Day. That's a timeline I've been hearing for quite some time. I think he's going to try to give it a go next Thursday. But may, he'll be a game time decision and probably, I believe he'll be ruled out. And, and then I believe at the top of next week, he'll be ready to go to unveil his whatever his Martin Luther King kicks are. Uh, a big time matchup against the Warriors on Martin Luther King Day. I believe he'll be ready to go then in Los Angeles. That's just my opinion. I don't know that. That's not set in stone. But I do know he will be out for the next three games. I don't think, if you're a LeBron fan, Laker fan, I don't think you need to be too concerned. They're just playing the game of cautious, you, you know, we. what's the point? I mean, the Lakers are not winning a ring this year. I'm sorry. They're not winning a ring this year. Well, don't do this in year one. This is all about year two and year three. Don't do this in year one. Don't overdo it. And let these young guys increase their trade stock. I right, increased their market value in this league. Brandon Ingram had a good night a couple games ago. Gave you like 28, 29. The most he scored in a long time. Lonzo's putting up triple double type numbers. Let them increase their draft stock, and then you can move them for Anthony Davis. It's simple, right? And Kuz was playing unbelievable basketball. He's trying to be somebody's second option. He's already a third option. To me, a good third option on a good team, right? He's trying to be a second. Let these guys increase their value. I'm out. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.